Welcome back to One Stop Law. In today's video, we talk about inter-religion adoption. A Muslim couple has attempted to adopt a child of a Hindu couple uh, by way of an agreement before the child was even born. This case has come before the Honorable High Court of Karnataka, who has taken a decision and has stated that there is multiple statutes in place in order for adoption processes and that such an agreement is unknown in law. Uh, the High Court has considered uh, various sections of the Guardians and Wards Act, uh, the Juvenile uh, Children's Act and it has considered a lot of uh, uh, precedents that are there. It has considered the Supreme Court's order which has categorically stated that Mormedian law does not recognize adoption process. Uh, it has also considered the fact whether this was a, a purchase of a child and it has uh, passed comments on uh, the various sections of this agreement. Uh, the court finally held that keeping in mind that there are statutes in uh, for adoption processes, the parents should approach those forums and should go by the decisions of those uh, authorities. Moreover, section 17 of the act was also looked at, uh, which clearly states that uh, a court has to keep in mind uh, the religion, the sex, the gender of the child uh, and then pass its decision. What do you all think about such an order of the High Court? Do you think they were correct to have disallowed this adoption process and to have left it at the uh, mercy of the court process? Or uh, do you think that the court was wrong in this and the court should have allowed them uh, to go by the terms and conditions of their agreement? Please leave a comment and don't forget to share and subscribe.